Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to configure software defined network on Proxbox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is SDN? So actually SDN allows you to create virtual networks, okay? and isolated private network configurations so you can imagine it like creating your own switch but this switch will be created just using software just using code okay so if you want to go or see the definition that proxmox actually gives you can go to the proxmox website dedicated to actually software defined network and you will see here the definition. So the software defined network is the end feature in Proxmox virtual environment enables the creation of virtual zones and virtual network. So we will take a look in details how to do that. Okay. So the first thing we have actually to install actually this SDN. Okay. So me, actually, I'm using version 8.1.3. So if you go to your data center here, you can see that I have already actually a section dedicated to SDN. But if you have a fewer actually version number, you can just install SDN using this web page from Proxmox, okay? So actually the installation is pretty simple. You have just to update your repository, okay? And install a couple of libraries, okay? But the most important thing here is to verify that this file here, slash etc, slash network, slash interfaces, contains at the end this line here, okay? So let's verify that. So I will go to my Proxmox here. So I will go to my node and of course I will go to the shell, okay? And I can just execute, for example, nano and see the content of this file slash etc slash network slash interfaces. And as I told you, at the end you must have this actually line. If you don't have it, you can just add it, but of course after installing the packages, okay? So this is very important page which help you to get actually the packages needed and configuration in order to get SDN actually set up in your Proxmox. But as I told you me, I have newer version so I don't have to do that. I have already everything's done, okay? So now let's configure our SDN. So in order to configure the SDN is pretty simple. There are actually three steps. You have to configure the zone first, then the virtual network, then subnet. Three steps, very simple, pretty easy. So you go to your data center here, node as you can see, and you go to your SDN section. And you have to expand it, so... And you can see here that I have actually some sub sections, so I have zones, VNet, and options, and IPAM, okay? So let's create actually a zone. So this is the first step. So I'll click on section for the zones and I will add here a zone. So here you can see there are many types of zone that we can have or we can add actually, there is a simple one, VLAN, QENQ, VXLAN, EVPN, okay? But let's start with simple one for our tutorial is just simple zone so we'll create actually simple zone so I have to choose it here we go and now I have this window so here I can enter action ID for this zone so you can call it whatever you want so let me for example call it DMZ zone here we go and here is some options that you can also tweak if you want but me I will keep with the default but the most important one is you have to choose the node. So me, I have only one node here, which is Proxmox01. So you have to choose it here, OK? 
okay so I choose in it this Proxmo 01 and of course you can add DNS server so we'll add it later we can also some configuration here doesn't matter but the most important one is this automatic DHCP checkbox so this is very important if you want your VMs that you will create or later to pull IP addresses from this zone so you have to check this box here so I will check it because I will use actually DHCP in order to provide IP addresses so for the VM that will attach to this zone actually okay so so far so good so we have everything done here so let's add this simple zone okay and here we go you can see the zone is added and step state actually is new so the second step is to create actually a virtual network so there is a vnet section so i will click on it and let's create a virtual network so we can also give it a name so let's call it vnet01 simple as that and here you can see why we started by creating a zone because we need it so we have to choose here the zone that we have just created so we call it dmz here we go and we have everything done here so let's create this zone here we go and also the state is new now we have to create a subnet related to this uh, virtual net so I will select that first and I will create a subnet okay so now here I have to do the configuration for the subnet so for example I will here enter an IP address subnet so let's call it for example not call it but configure it as 10.0.0.0 .0 .0. But you can configure whatever IP addresses you want. So me, as I'm using 192.168.1.0 for my local network, I will choose another one. Okay. And also here I have to configure the gateway if you want. So I will just give it that 0 0.1. And this is a very important uh, option here: source NAT. So the source NAT options allow actually the vms that will be created and attached to this subnet to go to the outside zone or to go to the internet actually so if you want to have access to the internet you can just check this snat checkbox okay so after that you can also for the dhcp ranges you can uh, create start address and add address so let's create start address so for example 10.0.10 for the start address and let's just give ip addresses for 10 hosts so i will choose for example from 10.1.0.10 to to 10.1.0.20 and i will create our subnet Okay, so here we go so both states for vnet and subnet are in the new state but now we are done creating the zone but we must activate it them so this is a very important step that you not, must not forget so for that you have to return back to your SDN so you click on SDN and by default you will get only one SDN which is your local network as you can see here but we just created an SDN which is zone vnet and subnet so it doesn't appear here so in order to appear or to activate the zone the vnet subnet that we have just created we have actually to click on this apply button so let's click on this apply button and here at the log or the task you can see that now the DMZ which is our virtual network that we have just created which is our zone DMZ zone is now available okay so now everything is okay we can start creating our VM and attach it to our DMZ okay so for the demonstration let's actually do that so I'll create actually uh, container 
and I will attach it to this DMZ. Okay, so let's create it from here. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. I will choose the node, of course, the host name. Let's call it Linux 01 just for testing purposes. Here I have to provide actually the password. So let's make something very simple. And I will confirm this password here. So this is the password for the root. Actually, I will go next. And here I will choose the storage where actually my container will reside. And for the template, I will choose just, uh, for example, uh, let's say uh, Debian. Okay. So I'll choose the Debian. Here we go. I will go next. So for the storage, I will keep with the default, which is 8 gigabytes. I will go to the CPU. Also, I will keep with the default. Doesn't matter for the memory. Also, it's just a container. And here is the most important thing is the network actually tab. So here we have to attach it to the zone that we have just created. So for the bridge here, you can see that I have VNet01, which is the VNet that I have just created. So remember, we create a virtual network called VNet01. If you don't want to attach your container to this uh, zone that we have created, you can just choose the older one, which is by default VMPR0. But me, we want to test the zone that we have just created or the subnet actually that we have just created. So let's choose this VNet01. Okay. And I will here choose DHCP because we want actually to pull addresses from our subnet. So remember, we just gave it a range from 10.0.1.0.10 from 10.1.0.20. Okay. And let's also, for example, for DNS, I will just use uh, Google DNS, which is 8.8.8. .8 and here we go. Finally, we have everything here is configured. Let's click on finish. And here you can see at the left, our container has been created or is being created actually. Okay and we will launch it and see what we get. So the task is okay. Our container has finished. It's a container. That's why it's uh, pretty fast. So now let's click on it and let's actually start this container here. Okay. So I will start it and I will go to the console actually. So you can see here that I have login. So I'll log in with the root and with the password that we have just created. Here we go. Here, let's skip this step. Here we go. Now we are inside our container. Let's see. Let's see now the IP address that it gets using the command IPA. So you can see here, it actually get the IP address from the pool, which is 10.1.0.10, as you can see here. And we can also ping to see if actually we have connection to the internet, because remember, we check the checkbox for the source NAT. So let me ping the internet. Here we go. We have connectivity to the Google DNS server, which means we have actually connection to the outside okay and if you return back to the your data center here and you go to actually a section here called IPAM you can see that actually this container which has an ID 142 got the IP address 10.1.0.10 which means that we successfully attached actually what we have created which means uh, SDN or software defined network with zone, subnet, and virtual network to this actually container. Okay. So 
that was just a brief video to show you how to actually uh, configure software defined network on Proxmox. So if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. So otherwise, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.